let us quickly cover access grants. So S3 access grants lets you map identities in a directory service. So think I am identity center, active directory, Okta, uh, to access data in S3. This is really useful if you know people uh, just wanna give them easy access and they're already using some kind of directory service. So there are some co components that we should know about. The first thing is the access grant instance. This is the logical container for individual grants. Then you have the location. So you're saying, hey, I'm gonna let all S3 buckets or this subsection of S3 buckets to have access. Then you have your granular permissions, which are your grants. You can have multiple gran uh, grants. This is gonna determine whether it's read, write, or both, um, whether you're giving access to uh, an IAM role or an IAM user and specific objects in a bucket. You'll get issued out temporary credentials um, to keep things really secure. There's more that we can talk about access grants. The reason I'm not getting really deep into this is because uh, this stuff gets really complicated. It's probably not gonna show up at the exam and directory services are a pain to explain. So just understand that Amazon S3 access grants let you map identities in a directory service. And remember the terms, Active Directory, Okta, Identity Service, and uh, or Microsoft Entre ID, which is Azure Active Directory's new name. And then you'll understand what this service is for, okay?